أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم and أنا عبدك العجيس وضعيف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence that Allah might and majesty and infinite rahma that keeps us to be alive and in existence for any moment Allah extinguish and everything is finished. Alhamdulillah we, we talked uh, last week I think it was for Suratul Ali Imran verse 190, 191 that inshaAllah they can find that talk and cut it and post it as a separate talk from Tafsir Surah Im Ali Imran. And its importance that we said that Allah behold in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alteration of day and night, these indeed are the signs for the people of tafakkur. So these are the signs of the people of tafakkur and when Allah throughout Qur'an describes the men of understanding, the people of the gate the people of tafakkur then Allah goes to describe these men whom they celebrate and praise Allah and uh, it's Qur'an that their dhikr is, is much, is excessive. That these Allah want to describe the people of tafakkur that they're excessive in their zikr and their praising. And they, they praise Allah standing, so you'll always see them in their zikr. You'll see them praising Allah sitting, they never sit idle without remembering Allah making salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad because that's the highest zikr of Allah because when we make salawat we say, Allah. Humma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad and lying down. That even in their lying state of sleep and lying on, on resting they are in dhikr of Allah And they contemplate the wonders of the heavens and the earth and in their consciousness and fear of Allah they know that He did not create this as a playground, as a joke or something idle. There is an immense reality in this creation and our life's purpose is to understand it. And if we're not understanding it this life was something heedless. But from this you can understand that somebody is not ahl tafakkur if they don't make zikr. So somebody says, oh this is a great thinker but they weren't known for dhikr, for being in the dhikr, to make dhikrullah and Allah just saying, well then that's not the people of tafakkur. How they got their understanding or they used their brain or they read a lot or they, they sat with genies and someone told them something. But Allah give the characteristic of these people, these titles in Qur'an these are the people of immense zikr. So that inshaAllah is a reminder for myself that Allah is, is giving that the people of the dhikr, they can reach to these titles, these understandings and to be from the people of tafakkur, ulama qa'im al bilqist, the ulul bab, the people of understanding, the people of the gate inshaAllah. With the immensity of these holy nights and the blessed birth of Imam al Husayn, Imam al Abbas, Imam Zain al Abidin, that Allah address us and, and bless us from these blessings. And alhamdulillah, that Allah open a means in which to give a reward, and that reward requires a testing. So, when people are contacting, and this is the purpose of, of help me at nurmuhammad.com and supporting and participating and listening to the zikrs. All of that is a means in which to Allah to raise and reward His servant. There has to be a means in which to be tested 
If we're not in a life in which we're going to be tested, we have something of, of some sort of test coming into our life, how Allah want to grant a reward? And how Allah want to raise the servant if they're never in a condition that they're being tested and that they even understand they're being tested, they don't view it as just, oh this is the hardship of life. So it means that when Allah wants to guide a servant, He sends them to guidance. So the first thing the guide can tell people is, you're being tested. So that they understand that there's a test, there's going to be a reward or punishment in the test. You're going to fail or you're going to pass in the test. And that's an immense rahmah and that's why Mawlana Shaykh would describe those whom run away from awliyaullah, they ran away from Allah's mercy because that was a way in Allah was going to lift them and give them their darajat, give them the ability to rise to the occasion. So the communication, the emails, the participation is a ni'mat from Allah an opening, a means in which to, to, to advance ourselves. Now when emailing and dealing we have to have a level of faith. So every interaction is like a doctor's office. As soon as you interact on these emails your level of faith has to be firm. You have to actually have a level of faith. Some of the emails that are coming in they appear to be as if no faith, hostile, aggressive, uh, somewhat abusive. So this is a, a process of faith in which you have a faith and say that how I'm going to interact with this email right now as if I'm interacting with Prophet Well what is the difference? That's why all of the teaching is this hadith al Qudsi, there are people whom they do all their voluntary, they do all their, their mandatory worshipness and as a result they do all of their voluntary worshipness and Allah gave a satisfaction to them and granted them a sincerity and that's hadith al Qudsi, I become the hearing in which that servant hears, I become the seeing in which that servant sees, I become the hands in which that servant hands. I become the feet in which they move, I become the breath in which they breathe. So much so they become Rabbaniyoon and they have kun fayakun and each to their darajat. But for us is, a, is an understanding from the ocean of faith that if you come across the turuqs then know that from amongst these tariqahs there are many of those individuals. This is the tariqah makes those is a machine for producing maqam al-ihsan, the, the, the maqams of perfection and that the servants they can reach towards sincerity. Many have been given a gift in which Allah gives them a hearing, an inspiration. Some have been given not because it's not so freely dispersed where they have a seeing, their Ahlul Basira. And if they are hearing and if they're seeing Allah blesses their hands and their communication. Only now we understand what that means that I be the hands. Why the hands? It was for manual work? No. But in your fight and in your struggle with Allah Allah will be your hand. It was not them who threw but we who threw. In warfare they didn't need any bombs, they merely picked up a rock and they could destroy a town by throwing a rock because Allah's throwing it. Allah doesn't need anything. So it means the hand, why the hand? So Allah just said, Ya Allah, my hand is on their hand. When they write to you, you have to be very conscious and very scared. When they talk with you, you have to be conscious and be conscious. You know taqwa, everyone talks about taqwa. Taqwa is to have a fear of Allah a consciousness of Allah a sense of tafakkur with Allah that this individual, I don't know who's on the other side of this email but there must be from these people receiving that email. And what if the shaykh himself reviews all the emails and the shaykh himself is actually the one communicating back with you? Then you have to be conscious, you have to have a fear. Do you have any sense of taqwa that Allah is, is watching, Prophet is watching? So then that's why the school is called the schools of adab.
So I don't know where people thought they learned tariqah or maybe they thought they went to a masjid for a long time. I'll give you an example, somebody emailed saying that, um, a shaykh gave me a special zikr and I've been doing the zikr, the shaykh passed away and now I want something, 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 what should I do and they wrote a whole bunch of stuff. One, as soon as the email comes how you write and how they understand are two separate oceans. One you're trying to qualify yourself as that you are of a special status and that you were given a special wazifa by your shaykh. Now what should you do? The shaykh passed away. Just all of that information will open the shaykh's heart to understand and now reply to you a special way to see what your status is and how high do you think you are. So merely they send back <laughs> an introduction <laughs> that, thank you and here's an introduction to Naqshbandiya and the, the center. Second email is also how to do muraqaba and then a third email, here's our awrat. And then a reply comes back, you may not have understood my email and what I was requesting and then going on and on and on and on. And then again a polite reply back, it's maybe you didn't understand our reply but we most definitely understood your email. And then another reply from the person that, uh, inshaAllah in the path of Allah everybody to be humble and thank you and bye. So they give a whipping and took off. So you know to, to do this type of, of work requires a, a tremendous amount of patience with people. But we use this like in a hospital that when you see a patient and the doctor goes and makes rounds with all the other residents and students who are trying to be of a good character like a doctor and then says, see this patient on the bed, this was a big no-no. What this person did was big no-no. That when you write to shaykh you don't need to calibrate yourself of who you are, what status because you know that once you say that you're going to get everything you didn't ask for as an email back because now they just want to see how, who was your shaykh and how did they train you. Because if he trained you, you wouldn't have replied back the way you replied. So you're an untrained person, you're not a trained individual. A trained individual whose heart was open and the shaykh had deposited what was needed to be deposited of a character, khuluq, you know the character, they would have been very humbled and said, thank you for the reply, inshaAllah I will try my best to, to, to send whatever isharat and guidance you're giving. For you to ever presume the shaykh didn't understand, leave if you don't think that shaykh is capable of understanding you through an email, through the energy and intention of what you're even writing. Then you've already said you don't even need to be with that person. This is not how tariqah comes, don't think you're emailing just you know in an office of Pepsi or, 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 or Doritos chips, <laughs> you're dealing now with heavenly guidance and they're going to calibrate and see where and start to poke you to see where you are. So one the tariqah rules is that unless you have a satellite connection and your shaykh deposited your, the, the heart with its knowledges and that you were given your firasul, your ahlul basira and that you don't need no more a, a cellular connection from shaykh to shaykh on the earth but your shaykh had opened your heart for your satellite connection with the heavens. If you've been established like that you don't need uh, contact on earth, you don't need a earthly guidance because your satellite system is working. If you have not been of that type where you went into seclusions, your heart has been opened, your eyes are open, your connection with heavens is, is there, you have a satellite. Satellite meaning that it's coming from Divinely Presence, it's not coming from the network on earth, you know awliya are a network on earth. But satellite means it's coming directly down. If you're not that type of person which was clearly understood then you need a living shaykh and that's why they sent you the email that here's the muraqaba. 
that at all times you need to be under the guidance of a living shaykh. Why? So that you can get your guidance, that you can get your protection, that you can get your coordinates because this is the most dangerous state in which that you are not connected to anyone. And as soon as you meditate without anyone connected and your ability not to be connected and to understand your connection, then shaitan can interfere with your line and with anything that you're trying to understand and could be years of shaitan fooling you until a big calamity and you make a very bad choice and, and, and things go very bad, very fast. That's why they sent the email that, make your connection. And that's why they sent the email is do the all right because if you're not connected and you don't have a cellular connection, shaykhs are passing away every day. Then you're supposed to be inspired to go to the next shaykh and then do their all right, do their connections. And if Allah inspiring you to this channel then it's made it even easier for you. That Allah's inspiring you and your shaykh is inspiring you that keep uh, connected to these people so that you can make your connection to Prophet and that you can establish your satellite network. But all of that requires from Surat Al-Kahf, 18th surah, good manners. It's your own manners that will make you to run because you didn't get the reply that you wanted but you got the reply that you needed. Because you wanted to calibrate yourself with the status that you have. So immediately they sent you something and your reply showed that you don't have that status and you didn't establish that connection that you needed to, to connect with. And had you only been patient you would have understood what they sent you was the medicine you needed not what you wanted because here is not a, a Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory. Where would that be in Pakistan? <laughs> You know the Willy Wonka was it like a cartoon or a show, you go there and you get all your dreams like Wizard of Oz and, and uh, these shows where you go somewhere and I, I get all my dreams, whatever I want I get. It's not whatever you want you get, it's what you need is what you get. It's not here I want this, I want this, I want this job, I want this cash, I want this money, I want this house, I want this wife, I want this, 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 I want, I want, I want. This is the dunya understanding, when you come to tariqah. It's not what you want but it's what you need and that's why you say, oh things are not opening, life is so difficult. No, it's not difficult, Allah is testing you and moving you in the direction of what Allah wants. And, and if things are not happening for you that's why they say, then just be patient, wait to see what Allah wants from you. In the patience you meditate that, Ya Rabbi what am I doing wrong? then there may be something in your character that has to be corrected. If Allah needs you to do something else, go somewhere else, be something else. Only the humble whom they have sabr and patience, they'll find out what Allah's coordinates for them is. The shaykh's job is not to take your path but only to guide you on the path. They're not to give you the answers to every test that comes. So if you don't understand that when you email help me at Nur Muhammad you're entering into a testing facility and, and another one an aggressive person they give donation immediately their emails are now onto the system. We give a newsletter and we don't even give emails more than once a month and that we have to push Mahdi please make the email send it out it's Shabban. They get an email and immediately a reply. That take me off of this spam list, take me off of all this thing, take me off of all this thing. And this person had been donating and clicking here, clicking there, clicking everywhere. And emailed you back, no problem, you're actually going to be off all our lists. But do you understand that when, when you gave a support, you showed your interest for the tariqah. And the tariqah is not sending you an email from 20 different organizations. But we are mashaAllah very active people. Our email shows you all the YouTubes, all the books that we produce, all the websites that we have out, all the charity work that we've done. It looks like five companies are sending you one email and the, and the bookstore and the online store that now supplying products from all over the world. These all go to support the tariqah, support our mission and our work. 
and it has immense amounts of expense. How much did they spend just on doing their YouTube analysis? You have to ask Had Shama, she ran away. Is he hiding somewhere in the corner there? He's not there. Yeah, I'll ask him later. Yeah, so this is tariqah. As soon as you email the shaykhs and you get into their system, they're going to put you like a washing machine through everything. You know, could you imagine that you just sent a, an email to Prophet that, take me off your spam list? Uh, you lost your mind? You know who that you're dealing with that you, you email things like that? And this somebody who emailed donation. So this shows you this horrible state of people's condition, the horrible lack of faith that people have and the danger of their own personality. They don't need to worry about anything else. They don't need to worry about any outside force, nothing. Their own character will destroy them. Their own inner demon will destroy them and cut every rope of rahmah and mercy if they're not able to control their anger, control their finger, control what they type. And they should have entered the door with a taqwa and a consciousness that as soon as I email these people as if I'm emailing the heart of Prophet And anybody who comes knocking on that door, they're coming to the, the ahbab and the lovers of Prophet As soon as you knock on the door, who's going to be answering inside the heart of Prophet is all the lovers. So any one of them that you deal with, be careful, be gentle. Be very soft. This is tariqah and tariqah is, is meant to agitate and aggravate and it's not about what you want at all. Tariqah is never about what you want but what you need to survive what's coming because your coordinates and Allah's coordinates must be very different because you have not re reached uh, taslim and submission. So the, the, the shaykhs are trying to bring you closer to what Allah wants for you. And if they don't have the ability to guide you through your email and know who you are just by typing, then you, you should find someone else because that's not a shaykh if you think that you have to describe your life to that person, that's the, what, would, what would be the benefit of that? So just you put your fingers on the keypad, your energy and your intention is moving forward. So tariqah is, 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 is something that we have to be sensitive to but either way the shaykh is very patient, there's no anger involved. This is of a, a lesson that you have to understand, you have to be patient. You have to know, I'm going to email these people and I'm going to try my best to remember I'm dealing with the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad At best they must be inspired that Prophet loves them, sees through them, looks at their heart. And, and deals with them. So alhamdulillah, inshaAllah with that, Bi Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri al-Sufurat al-Fatiha.